America has brought in some phenomenal snacks that our founding fathers could only dream of. Ah, uh, how proud they all would be. If they saw the type of snacks and food we have nowadays, they wouldn't believe it. I think they would honestly call us dumbasses for some snacks like Takis and banana flavored Twinkies. Now, I'm sure George Washington would love those Debbie zebra cakes and would want to live in our generation. But what in the hell is a zebra cake? The fuck kind of disgusting food is this? How did you get here? I thought you died in 1799. And why do you sound like that? Hey, it's that guy from the one dollar bill. Oh my God, that's so cool. Washington may be old like me, but his wooden teeth game does get all the bitches. No way is that actually George Washington. I respect you for what you've done for our country, and I'll have you know that I'm making America great again. Yeah, sure, man. Shut the fuck up, little bro. We all know the country desperately needs me more since your policies are worse than Abraham Lincoln's executive order on the Emancipation Proclamation. You better take that shit back right now, George. That's my family you're talking about right there, you Groot teeth having ass motherfucker. Oh, shut your goofy looking hair ass up, George. Your girly hair is worse than Trump's and makes his hair actually look plausible. What intarnation? How are these presidents alive? Wait a second. Is that the guy on the $5 bill? Wait, they put my face on a piece of paper without my consent? I'm about to sue them right now. Oh my God, it is the guy on the $5 bill. I thought that guy was a fictional character. You're on the $5 bill, Abraham. But, but someone's definitely getting in trouble from the FBI for giving them a time machine. Wait, hold on. Hey, Abraham, don't get me started on that ridiculous hat you wear on the daily. You have zero swag and no Twitter followers. Bitch, please, you're banned from Twitter. Guys, guys, please calm down. What were we even talking about in the first place? Trump's fat ass was bringing up how George Washington was basically missing out on all the snacks that made Trump into a walking Twinkie. Back in my day, we only had apple and cherry pies, and if you're lucky, cream pies. It was all about that sweet rice pudding with a loaf of bread. Shit was bussin' back in my hood. Too bad you guys didn't have sliced bread back in the 1800s. What in Christopher Columbus's name is this sliced bread? I take back what I said. Mr. Washington over here is dumber than I imagined and has no brain. Yeah, kind of like John F. Kennedy when he... When what happened, George? Finish that sentence right now, Towers. I dare you to. Okay, what is going on? I am so confused right now. Who the fuck is this guy? Seems like some random, honestly. I have you know that I'm the best president in American history, so hop off. Why do you sound like you're stuck in 1963 still? Get out of here with your toaster quality mic. Hold on, chump. I think this time machine messed my mic up. Give me a second before I kick you in the shin. Yeah, fix your mic, John. It's terrible. All right, is this better, gentlemen? But who the hell is trying to roast me? I'll take my ass from 1963 to beat the fuck out of you, Trump. Yeah, I'm here from 1865 to knock you down just like that copper beech tree I chopped down. I'll bring the hatchet my dad gave me back in 1738 that I fucked up his cherry tree with to pull a shining move on your ass, Trump. Here's George. Wait, what? Did someone say my name? You're not the only George here. And oh, by the way, Mr. Washington and Lincoln, this George's nickname is Towers. Oh, leave him alone, Donald. You can't be telling them events that happened in the future or else that will cause a time paradox thingy Mick Jiggy. Did we ever go to the moon? I need to know because Lee Harvey Oswald decided to put on his aimbot to get my ass. Uh, you see, people think we faked the moon landing and the earth is flat nowadays, but that's a whole other topic for another day. But where did you guys even get your time machines from to be here? I'm sure Donnie and Bill Clinton would love that time machine to prevent those affairs they had with Stormy Daniels and Monica Lewinsky. Are you talking shit behind my back, Barack? I'll have you know it was damn worth it to tap some fine ass in the Oval Office. Exactly, Barry. So leave me and Bill alone, why don't you? Shit, boys. Should I take back the signing on the Emancipation Proclamation? That's my man. Don't free them. Bro, chill. Chill out, man. Chill. You can't be saying that type of stuff in 2023. I'll come over there and slap your old asses back to the 19th century. Holy meatballs. What kind of shit show did my ass just join into? I'm bored here, gentlemen. I need some New England clam chowder at my desk ASAP. You are disgusting, John. You don't know good food when you see it with the lack of brain cells hey, you have. Hey, leave my nigga Kennedy alone. Clam chowder slaps unlike your disgusting ass McDonald's. What is a McDonald's? Let's go back to the 1800s, bro. Okay, I don't think I can be in this call anymore with these dumbass ancient presidents. Hey, shut the fuck up, Joe, before I launch a missile strike to your house right now. Say I won't. I dare you, sleepy fucking Joe. Hey, you haven't been the president in over 20 years. I have the huge red button next to me right now, so keep testing me, and I'll test this red button on you. Even though I was just dead a minute ago, you guys are forgetting I'm here and still have my red button too. I'll press it now with no hesitation, bitches! I'm about to shove this red button up all your asses right now, so stop talking. Red button for what? What are these fools on about? It's probably nothing with their so-called nukes. They're probably tweaking over a simple slap in the face. Uh, can we go back to square one, please? Remember, 
we're all here to watch this compilation of all the different snack tier lists we've done. Sounds like some lame shit to me. What even is a tier list? Yeah, I'm not explaining anything to any of you clueless brain dead fools. Hey, you take that back right now, Donald. My brain works perfectly fine to comprehend these sentences unlike your fat ass. Shut up, guys. I'm gonna start the damn compilation right now, so all of you guys just go back to the year you came from, so you don't tear a hole in the time-space continuum. You got a point. I have some more shoddies to bag in the Oval Office. Oh, and I'll make sure to hit Melania's line before she gets with you, Donald. Peace out, bitches. I have to make sure we get to the moon, and I'm gonna get my revenge on that no-good Lee Harvey Oswald. I'm gonna tell all my homies about this and how I'm gonna be on the $5 bill. I stole a pair of your dentures, Joey, so thank you very much. While I go a flex on my wooded teeth bros that I have, indestructible teeth. Well, looks like history is about to be rewritten. Yesterday I had a picnic with Laura at the park and it was going really well until I grabbed one of the desserts out the picnic basket. Laura got real mad at me when she saw it. Mad at you for bringing dessert to a picnic? What did you even bring that got her so riled up? Probably these nuts. Ha! Got him! Really, really Joe? Joe? These nuts? Really? What guys? I, I just saw that video yesterday on TikTok for the first time. I thought it was hilarious. Did you forget that you're trying to ban TikTok, Sleepy Joe? Your dementia is kicking in once again. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, I better get back on that since TikTok is a matter of genuine concern. Man, I haven't even finished my story yet. Can I tell you boys what happened with Laura and I? Yeah, go for it, George, but it better not be anything stupid or else I'm gonna tell Laura that you're using your vapes again. Whoa, whoa, chill, Obama. No need to do that. Anyways, I reached into the picnic basket and pulled out some ding-dongs thinking I was gonna enjoy this perfect sweet snack until Laura knocked it out of my hands, dropping all my ding-dongs on the grass. Holy guacamole, why would she do that? Let a man enjoy ding-dongs in peace. The hell? What's wrong with you, Joe, talking about ding-dongs like that? I'm sure you enjoyed ding-dongs when you were in office with Obama for eight years. Quit it, Donnie, for I whoop your ass. No, 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 not that ding-dong. You guys are getting it confused with my wonderful chocolate ding-dongs. Chocolate ding-dongs? Huh? Oh, hell no. Stay away from me, George. I may be packing, but I sure as hell ain't sus like you. Bro, stop. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the food, the snack. Come on, guys. What a loser you are, Towers. Hey, let's stop it with the bullying. You guys are triggering my PTSD from all the times those meddling kids bullied me for my stutter back in 1952. Yeah, so quit it, guys. But I was devastated when Laura knocked the basket out my hands and all 50 of my ding-dongs fell onto the grass. When she saw that many fell out, she grounded me again on the spot. Wait, what? Did you say 50 ding-dongs? No way. 50, huh? That's respectable, George. I commend you for that. And if you have any left, bring me some, why don't you? Jeez, George. You're about to boost your sugar levels to the sky and put yourself into the ER. You better be careful. Hey, I'm not like you, Joey. I can actually handle my sugar, but I'm really not supposed to be in discord with you guys today, so I have to be quiet or else Laura will hear me and take my PC away. Really? You need to chill with your ding dong addiction, man. Having 50 in one setting just isn't okay, bro. Do I need to get Dr. Phil in here to help you no, out, George? No, no. We are not bringing that shiny, bald-headed imposter in here again. Dr. Phil is a no-good fake news have an ass little bitch who can suck my- Go ahead, finish that sentence, Donald. I dare you, I double dare you, no. In fact, I triple dog dare you with a cherry on top to say that bullshit to my face right now. That's it! I'm ordering a drone strike on your house right now, Philip. Ah, uh, hell no. You're not the damn President Donald. You got no drones. I got 10 drone strike buttons on my desk on standby. Test me. Boys. Chill the hell out, okay? Just let Dr. Phil help out George with his ding-dong addiction, ding then he's dong? out of here. What the All hell? Right? Hey, Dr. Phil, it's nice to meet you again, but I apologize in advance for bringing my ding-dong problem to you. Hold on there, George. When you say ding-dongs, are we talking about ding-dongs or ding-dongs? Oh, he's talking about those fat, juicy, huge ding-dongs. Shut up, you fat-ass Cheeto Puff. But no Dr. Phil, I'm talking about those chocolate ding-dongs, not Obama's. The fuck did you just say? Ooh, Obama's? Can I have a taste? What? Jesus Christ, I'm losing brain cells. I regret being here, but uh, George, tell me, wh when did this chocolate dessert addiction first start? Well, Dr. Phil, it was a dark and stormy night. Well, actually, scratch that. It was a sunny day in Texas. I was just a young fella innocently walking down the street when I saw a ding dong on the ground. I picked it up and it was love at first bite. Disgusting. Uh, George, let me get this straight. Your ding-dong addiction started with a random ding-dong on the ground? So, you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time then? Now, now, Dr. Phil, don't discount the power of fate and a perfectly placed ding-dong. It was like the universe wanted me to embark on this sugary journey. Uh, George, we need to address the underlying issues here. Was it the chocolatey exterior that lured you in, or was it the creamy filling that got you hooked? Well, it's hard to say. The chocolate and cream combination is like a symphony in my mouth. 
It's like fireworks exploding with each bite. Man, Ding Dong's got me wrapped around their little finger. Jeez, you definitely have a problem, George, if you're describing Ding Dong's in that way. How the hell can you be so addicted to food like that? Look who's talking, Donnie. You're just a fat piece of lard with a fucked up bird's nest on top of your head. Now, now, even though George's addiction may be just food, trust me, it can really lead to some future devious homicidal behavior. What? This is actually what we see in most serial killers, actually. Oh, shit. It all starts with just one bite. Oh, my gosh. Am I going to turn into Michael Myers or Ghostface or something? No, no, you're not. But if you don't break this cycle of ding-dong dependency, then say goodbye to your sweet Texas farm life, George. Jesus Christ, I didn't know that simply eating food can cause you to be a fugitive. I mean, it all makes sense, you know? Just look at Trump with the FBI all over his ass and him having a warrant for his arrest. It all has to be because he's the third heaviest president in U.S. history. See, exactly my point. What the hell are you all on about? You can't compare eating food to committing crimes. This is all fake news coming from Dr. Phil once more again. No, Donald, he's an expert. He's right about all of this. Now, Dr. Phil, how do I get over this addiction? Because Laura always gets angry at me for having 100 boxes under my bed. What in tarnation? God damn! 100 boxes, my guy? You know what? I shouldn't judge since I do have 100 boxes of bacon-flavored toothpaste, the but fuck? we'll save that for another time. The hell are you smoking on, bro? Pass me some of that shit, my boy, because you are tweaking for having bacon-flavored toothpaste. Like, what the fuck? Hey, don't knock it until you try it. No, that sounds disgusting. Who in their right mind would want to brush their teeth with that? All of Dr. Phil's brain cells are playing a never-ending game of tag, desperately trying to catch a glimpse of logic that always seems to avoid them. Like a bunch of drunken hamsters in a maze. Don't listen to them, Phil. We all have our demons, you know? That's true, George. But maybe you should seek some help from the Fruit and Vegetable Association so you can replace those ding-dongs with a much healthier alternative. I mean, I did try swapping ding-dongs for broccoli at one point, but that didn't go quite well. I threw up the broccoli all over Laura's flowers. I just have to eat 10 ding-dongs at every hour of the day. And I even take baths with the entire tub filled to the brim with them. So you eat 240 ding-dongs per day and bathe in chocolate, essentially? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you're fucked, buddy. Huh? There's no helping you there. That ain't my problem. Dr. Phil out. Man, what? I, I really thought Dr. Phil could have helped me. What a dirtbag for leaving me like that. Nah, what's up with you, George? You okay, bro? Ding-dongs aren't even all that, man. And I thought I had an issue with my ice cream addiction. Yeah, ding-dongs are fake news and trash. Hand me 10 Twinkies instead and you got yourself a full course meal. A full course meal of some damn Twinkies? Shit, no wonder why you look like one. Ha, good one, Barry. But honestly, Ho-Hos are my favorites. They always satisfy my needs. Nah, those don't taste as good as the cupcakes. They're the OG and one of the best snacks when you're faded off your ass. No, no, I wasn't talking about those ho-hos, Barry. I'm talking about all the ho-hos I got at my crib when Kermit and I party and pop them 30. Jesus, you stupid, mindless druggie. Aren't you a little too old for all of that, Joey? I can't believe you do all that partying and you're still able to walk. Trust me. When I party, I look like a badass with my Ray-Bans and a cup of dirty Sprite. I'm the life of the party at every single party I pull up to. All the baddies flock to me every time. Yeah, sure, man. I have to see it to believe it, but I feel like we should help out George with his ding-dong addiction. Let's talk about more Hostess snacks, kind of like what we did with those little Debbie snacks, which will be in the description. Wouldn't that make George's addiction worse, though? No, it wouldn't. I need to face my problems head on. This is the start to help overcome my ding-dong addiction. Let's start this list. All right, then, boys, let's start off with those chocolate zingers. They're actually called Ice Devil's Food Zingers for your information. Of course, you'd be all technical about food, fat ass. Low-key, these are close to being as good as my ding-dongs. They taste delicious, especially with that chocolate icing. These are basically chocolate Twinkies and you can never go wrong with them. I have nothing bad to say about these honestly, but these are Michelle's favorites. So whenever she's in a bad mood or I say something that pisses her off, giving her this chocolate zinger solves that issue, if you know what I mean. You don't have to say it like that, Barry. Can we all stop talking about food like this for Christ's sake? It's just food. Says the one who was yabbering on about his ho-hos and perk 30s. What? I never said that. Ah, uh, shit. Here we go again with the dementia. Anyways, I'm putting these chocolate zingers in the good tier. Now, these chocolate cupcakes are straight gas. These are the best snack Hostess has to offer because the texture and taste on these are just bussin' bussin'. All right, not gonna lie, I'm also a sucker for these ones. The cream in the middle is absolutely terrific and makes it 10 times better. Yeah, and I'm sure that's not the only type of cream filling you like in your mouth, Donald. Bro, weren't you just saying not to talk about food like that, Joe? Oh, did I? My God, why did they even elect this ancient fossil? This is why America needs me in 2024. Wait, what? I'm president? Since when? Jesus Christ. 
Did you forget to take your medication, Joe? Because your dementia is really kicking your ass today. Fuck that medication. All I need is them Flintstone gummies and I'm cooling. Wow, this man is really our president. Man, how come I can't be president again? It's not fair that you guys get to run again. Nah, it is fair, George, since you're a master at playing Jenga. Shut it, Barack. It gets old saying the same joke over and over, you know. No, it doesn't get old like these cupcakes, which are going to the god tier. Ah, now this next snack I just can't get enough of. I love me some ho-hos in the Oval Office. Who are you, Bill Clinton, now? I really think you're just the creepy version of Bill, honestly. Don't make me tell Jill about what you're doing, Joey. Oh, I'll text her right now and tell her all the things he's been doing with Kermit the Frog. No, no, you guys better not be some damn snitches. We all know snitches get stitches. Back in my hood, snitches would get far worse than stitches. But regardless, these ho-hos aren't as good as those little Debbie Swiss rolls. Wait, hold on. Did Hostess copy little Debbie with these snacks? They honestly look the exact same. Probably. The Hostess ho-hos were made in 1967, three years after Little Debbie made their Swiss rolls in 1964. But who knows if Debbie copied someone else? Of course, you'd know all that out of everybody here. But I was 25 years old in 1967 when I had my very first ho-ho. These aren't half bad, but I like the Debbie Swiss rolls better. These taste better than half the snacks on this list. Exactly. It's a God-tier snack and it's not even close. Both of you are definitely tweaking if you think these are God-tier worthy. Just wait till we get to the other snacks, but I'm gonna just put these in the good tier for now. Now, not gonna lie, powdered donuts are really hit or miss, and Hostess missed the mark on the taste with these. I actually quite like these powdered donuts because it's a perfect balance with the powder. It's not too much or too little. It melts in your mouth just right. There goes Sleepy Joe once again with a terrible opinion. These are the worst Hostess snack there is. They taste like Play-Doh that's been sitting on the sidewalk for a week. Okay, you're pushing it, Donald. They're not that bad, but certainly not that good either. I don't know what kind of brain Donald has half the time. I feel like he has one of those symbol monkeys just clapping away inside that hollow skull of his. Who doesn't like powdered donuts though? Like, come on now, especially mini powdered donuts. It can't get better than this. Yeah, keep eating your spat out bird food tasting donuts while I enjoy my Big Macs and filet fish sandwiches. Okay, bro, your opinion is instantly revoked since you're the type of nigga that actually likes the filet fish from McDonald's. Disgusting ass nigga you are. Whatever, Donald, I'll just put these in the mid tier for your donut looking ass since the other donuts we're gonna rank later are actually better than these ones. Ah, uh, shit, here we go again with my beloved ding-dongs. You guys already know what I think about these. You should eat one right now, George. It's gonna help you fight your addiction. No, George, do not eat one. Uh, I don't know, man. It seems pretty tempting. Eat it, George. Eat one now. Joey, come on now, stop. Take that beautiful, delicious chocolate cream-filled cake out and eat it. Will you guys stop that? Stop provoking him with ding-dongs? Fuck it! I'm getting that box I have stashed no. in my closet. No, George. I'll be right back, boys. No. You see what you guys did? Come on, we're supposed to be helping him with his addiction, not condoning it. I got it. I got my boxes of ding-dongs, boys. I found it, and I'm about to eat the whole box. Ah, shit, don't do it, George. Please, bro. What in tarnation are you doing, Georgie? Oh, God. Get those damn ding-dongs out of your hands right now. Oh, shit, is that Laura in the background? No, oh, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just let me have one. Please, please. I need it. Please. Poor George man gonna get an ass whooping from Laura. No, George. What did I tell you about your ding-dong addiction? I'm gonna burn those fucking boxes. Be right back while I grab my flamethrower. Oh my God. A flamethrower? What the hell? Bro, what do I do? Guys, I'm scared. She's just over-exaggerating everything since it's just food. This isn't the first time she's brought her flamethrower out. Why does she even have a flamethrower, George? What kind of shit is that? I have to make this fast since she'll be back any minute, but it was a Christmas gift from our daughter so we can cook up some brisket in the backyard. She burnt all my other boxes of ding-dongs and it was so, so scary. George, come to my room right now and bring those boxes. Honey, honey, please, let me off the hook this one time. No, George. No, I'm trying to help you out by you not eating so many sweets and raising your cholesterol and sugar levels. I mean, she do got a point. When I be popping them Perk 30s with Kermit, my blood pressure and cholesterol levels be off the charts. Hey, Laura, just calm down, okay? It won't hurt if he just has one ding-dong. Shut your tangerine-looking ass up, Donald. I don't want to hear it from you, or else I'll call Melania and tell her you're still messing around with Stormy Daniels. Oh, shit. Oh, hell no. Get the fuck out of my VC right hey, hey, now. Hey, don't talk to my wife like that, you obese-deformed blob, before I throw my ding-dongs at your spray-tanned face. No, don't throw them at Trump, George. He'll just end up catching them in his mouth and eating them. Hurry up, George. I'm waiting. All right, boys, I've got to go. I'll be back later, okay? Just make sure to put ding-dongs into God tier. You will not be back later. Geez, why is Laura so strict with George? I mean, Jill is strict with some things with me, but not to that extent. I just don't want to lose George over some damn food, but 
I'm gonna put these ding-dongs into the goaded tier because there's way better Hostess snacks than these. Snowballs are next and these aren't even good. They're disgusting. You certainly have lost your taste buds then. The coconut and marshmallow go together so well, especially with that cream filling in the middle. It's a great, unique taste. I've never had anything like it before. These are better off to throw at your neighbors, kind of like that one episode of SpongeBob where him, Squidward, and Patrick had a snowball fight. Wait, how do you even have a snowball fight underwater? How the hell does that even make sense? And that's why SpongeBob is fake news and the worst show to ever exist. SpongeBob is only useful to clean the toilets of McDonald's, and Gary is as useless as a box of- Finish that damn sentence right now, Donald. I fucking dare you. Never ever talk down on Gary's name again. Where the hell did you come from? Oh my gosh, is that really SpongeBob? Dear Lord, first we had a stupid frog in our Discord, and now we have a literal sponge in here. Get the hell out of here, you moisture magnet. No! This sea sponge will do whatever he wants, when he wants. Try some smart ass shit on me right now, Trump and I'll whip out old reliable and smack the bejesus out of you. Ah! Oh yeah, I remember that episode. That jellyfish net is no joke. Yeah, that is a classic episode, but SpongeBob, you gotta chill, man, please. We don't need another Kermit 2.0 around here. Oh, you're talking about my nigga Kermit the Frog? What? I know the guy. One time, Kermit, Patrick, and I went to this mushroom forest and we tripped our balls off. You did not just say that, SpongeBob. You don't have the N-word pass. Oh, you really messed up now, SpongeBob. But how the hell do you even know Kermit? I'm a freaking sponge for crying out loud. I'm not a human, so I can say whatever I want. And I met Kermit back in 2010 in Texas, but we'll get to that later. I mean, I guess he can say what he wants. He does have a point if you really think about it. But he is yellow, which means he's probably Chinese. Chill the hell out, Donald. You and SpongeBob are walking on thin ice. Does it look like I care, Barack? Why don't you stop bitching so we can finish this tier list? What snack are you guys on anyways? Snowballs? Yeah, kind of like what Barack mentioned earlier with that one episode where you, Squidward, and Patrick had a snowball fight. Oh, yeah. And I stuffed Patrick's mouth with a load of balls, and he loved it. What? Oh, you sus as hell. Hey, if they were the hostess snowballs, then I wouldn't blame Patrick for having all those balls in his mouth. What is wrong with you, Donald? Are you fruity too, bro? Hey, there's nothing wrong with being fruity, Barry. Yeah, exactly, Barry. Especially since I live in one for crying out loud. Can we stop slacking off and rank these snowballs already? I'm putting these into the goaded tier. All right, I'm fine with that, I guess, but next we have the chocolate donuts and, and these are mid as hell. You're tweaking, Obama. These donuts are fire, especially after Kermit and I blazed that flying Dutchman pack with Snoop Dogg. These are my go-to snacks for the munchies. Wait, since when did you start indulging in the Mary Jane SpongeBob? I thought you would be clean off of that stuff. There's no way a sponge is a pothead. What kind of shit is this? I actually started blazing it after Kermit attacked me and my friends in Texas. He jumped right into all of us and then he had me in his mouth. It was honestly disgusting and I almost dried out and died. But after the whole situation, we made up and we've been homies ever since. Wait, are you talking about that Rodeo Days episode back in season seven? No way, that was Kermit. I'm actually mind blown, honestly. Holy banana, SpongeBob. That's actually pretty darn cool that your universes are connected like that. Enough of your stupid cartoon talk. We have to rank these horrid donuts. They're a dry disappointment and taste terrible. Yeah, I actually can't agree with you on that. Sorry, SpongeBob, but these chocolate donuts are going into the mid-tier since the other donuts are better. Ah, barnacles, can we skip this next snack, please? Twinkies are sponges just like me, so it's basically cannibalism if I attempt to eat these. There's actually a difference, bro. These are sponge cakes not actual sponges you use to wash your- Shut up, Obama! Don't remind me of the many times my family had to suffer in the shower with those disgusting humans. Wait, so those sponges in my bathroom are alive? Oh, hell no. No wonder why it felt all tickly and weird when I was washing my ass. I gotta text Jill to throw those out right now. I'll keep using them since it does help make my hair look wonderful. Stop kidding yourself, Donald. It looks like a jellyfish just stung the top of your head and you called it a day. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, that was a good one. I'll give you that one. But regardless, if these Twinkies are sponges, you can't deny how amazing these taste. And you can't deny how much they also resemble Donald. Zip it, Sleepy Joe. I can eat these Twinkies more than George can eat his Ding Dongs. The taste of Twinkies is simply addicting. These are most definitely God tier and one of the best tasting snacks in existence. Whatever. I'll probably go taste one later for the hell of it, but cinnamon coffee cakes are next and you can never go wrong with these. The cinnamon on these are too spicy for me, honestly. If I even just smell the scent of cinnamon, I'll end up pressing life alert and be taken to the emergency room. How are you so sensitive to food like that? 
It's unbelievable, but that's your loss since you're missing out on this fantastic food. Yeah, back when I was in office and he was my vice president, we had to change our entire dessert menu just to appease for Joey's lack of taste buds. What a wuss you are, Sleepy Joe. You can handle a few perks and some lean, but not a simple bite of this amazing cinnamon coffee cake. You belong at Super Weenie Hut Juniors. Hey, I'm actually kind of starting to like Spongebob Hey, now. stop being mean to me. Out of all people, I wouldn't think you would bully me too, Spongebob. I can't believe you're actually allowing a sea sponge to walk all over you, but there's no debate about how fantastic these coffee cakes are. The cinnamon flavor blend beautifully. It's nuts how good these are. They're god tier. Nuts, huh? Sandy might know a thing or two about these nuts when I clap them cheeks. You're just Spongebob, I didn't need to hear that. But wait, you actually smashed after all those years? Yeah, I did, but honestly, it was overrated, both her and Pearl. I think the next shoddy I'm gonna try to hit up next is Melania. I'll just pretend to be a brand new sponge in her bathroom just so she picks me up and rubs no, me No, you're not over. gonna do anything, you yellow freak. I'm banning all sponges in my mansion. Jeez, you're kind of taking things too far, SpongeBob. I miss the old you. What happened, man? Just like I said before with Kermit, Barry, people change, animals change, and... Even sponges can change too, I guess. Well, it was a buildup of over 20 years of me failing boating school. Ha! What a failure you are! Shut up, you mango. I was holding in all the pain and frustration and got pissed at that fat ass Mrs. Puff for not passing me. I needed an escape from reality, and that's when I met Kermit in Texas and when I popped my first 30. Jeez, I remember when I first popped mine too. It was also with Kermit. Man, he's such an amazing guy. I mean, frog. I'm not even gonna say anything since I sound like a broken record at this point, but. You guys do you. What snack are we even on now? Ah, the Crunch Donuts. These are the best donuts from Hostess, without a doubt. Yeah, I feel like these are way better than all the other donuts we talked about. These taste phenomenal, and I can never get enough of these. I don't mind them much, but most of the other Hostess snacks are way better. No, nope. You know nothing about food other than your disgusting Krabby Patties. Hey, you take that back. I make the best Krabby Patties in the world. Sorry to break it to you, but above water, here in the States, we don't have Krabby Patties. We have delicious Big Macs and filet of fish sandwiches. You damn freak! Eating fish sandwiches? You best leave Fred and his family alone! They all taste good, though, especially Larry the Lobster on a plate with a juicy, medium-rare steak. Don't forget about crab legs and dipping them into butter. Oh man, those slap. And most importantly, snail and calamari on a plate with some tartar sauce. Don't you dare talk about my friends like that, and especially Gary. I'm getting Kermit to teach you all a lesson. Yeah, I'm not trying to deal with that, so I'm putting these donuts on God tier, and I'm out. I'm disconnecting you, Joe. You and Kermit really can't be hanging out anymore. No, no. Let me talk to my Kermit Wormy just one. What? No, they were just here. Damn it. Well, uh, since it's just the two of us, you can flop into my mouth again if you want. Fine, I'm on my way, Kermit. Every time Jill and I go grocery shopping and we're in the snacks aisle, she always gives me this look. Right as I'm about to grab a box of cosmic brownies, she says, no, you can't have these, Joey's. Can she just let me live, you know? Laura does the same thing when I try to grab a box of Twinkies, but instead she knocks the box out of my hands, dropping it to the floor. She's done this countless times and embarrassed me in front of everybody. Michelle may be a little tough on sugar with me, but she's not running a dictatorship on me like your wives. You see, this is exactly why Melania is the best first lady to ever step into office. She may be a baddie in office, but her fashion sense is about as classy as a dollar store tiara. Yeah, not gonna lie, she has zero drip. And even though she may have been a model in the past, it's clear that she forgot to model a personality. What? What in tarnation, Barry? No way you just said Good that. Good heavens, Barack. Are you just gonna let that slide, Donald? Hell no, that shit will not slide in this server. Barack, the only reason you're even saying that about Melania is because you're jealous. Huh? Jealous of the fact that I have a gorgeous wife while you have a wife who looks like a damn linebacker. Ah, uh, hell and Let's no. not even get started on Michelle's horrendous dance moves. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Ooh, gotta get the popcorn ready. Really, guys? Who are you, Barack? Will Smith? You can't slap me or do shit since we're in Discord. Huh. Watch your mouth, Trump. I won't tolerate any disrespect towards my wife. Talk down on her one more time and I'll order 10 drone strikes to your damn house right, right, right now. All right, all right, easy there, fellas. Let's not start arguing already. We haven't even been in here that long. I want to see Trump and Obama in a boxing ring. But yeah, let's save that for another time, fellas. Whatever, you fools. What were we talking about anyways before all this wife bickering? We were talking about how George and Joey's wives hates them eating sugary snacks like those little Debbie brownies. I just love those little Debbie pastries. And that girl on all the boxes is almost my age now. I should go hit up that shoddy's line whenever Jill decides to start tweaking about me getting some little Debbies. Knowing you, Joe, you probably would be a creeper and sniff her hair like the freak you are. How does that doddering fool get away with that type of shit anyways? 
There's no way anyone watches Joe do all those creeper moves and doesn't think something's off. Yeah, you make me sick, Joey. Stay away from my wife and kids. In fact, I take back all those years we spent together in office. Hey, come on, guys. This isn't pick on Joey Day. Please be nice. I have really good excuses for all of that. I promise. Yeah, sure you do, buddy. But on the topic of Little Debbie snacks, I personally love the honey buns. They're 100% the best Debbie snack. Wrong. You're wrong, Mr. Towers. The best Debbie snack are those nutty bars. That's the best tasting one, and no one could tell me otherwise. You guys are forgetting about the oatmeal cream pies. Those are easily the best, and it's not up for question. This is the perfect snack to eat when you're toasted off that za. You guys clearly have no taste buds because cosmic brownies are easily the best. No doubt about it. Uh, well, fellas, why don't we just rank some of these little Debbie snacks and see which ones are good and which ones are underwhelming, yeah? Yeah, I'm down, George. Whatever. All right, bet. Let's start off with the honey bun, then. Thoughts on these boys? Honestly, they're not bad. The only thing is that they can taste dry sometimes if you get unlucky. I've actually never had that issue before. For me, it's the glaze itself. I hate when it gets all stuck to the plastic. I mean, other than all of that, these hoes are definitely bussin'. I wouldn't say they're my go-to, but I'll take them if it's there. Yeah, I love the glaze on these things, but I don't think these are anything too special compared to all the other snacks on this list. It's definitely good tier worthy, though. Now, these nutty bars are what makes America great, aside from me, obviously. The Jesus. moment you take one bite of these and you taste that peanut butter crunch, you're in heaven! Facts, Donnie. These things are heavenly. I just love that wafer texture. Same, George. That peanut butter chocolate wafer combo is just perfect. Now, if Michelle was here, I would say only one of these would be ideal for the day or else you'll end up looking like Trump. <laughs> really? But since she's not here, I must say that I secretly have an entire stash of these in my shoe boxes. Oh, wow, that's a great hiding spot, Barry. Next time Kermit restocks me with more 30s, I'll be sure to hide my stash there from Jill. Other than that, nutty bars are way too sweet for me and that peanut butter is way too much for me to handle. We're basically the same age, Joey. How can you not eat sweets often like me? Because Sleepy Joe over here was born in the damn 1800s. Actually, for your information, I was born in the 1700s. Get it right. Yeah, and you were probably one of the presidents to sign the Declaration of Independence. I wouldn't be surprised to see your kindergarten looking ass signature on there. Shut up, Barry. You shouldn't be talking with your bummy ass signature. It's so round for no reason and looks like two Donald Trumps combined together. We all know my signature is by far the best in American history. What even is your signature, Donnie? I can't even make out where the letters are. Your signature looks like a chimpanzee picked up a pen and started scribbling away. I'm not gonna lie, fellas, I think all of our signatures are pretty trash. Unlike these nutty bars, which are God tier. Well, next we have the Little Debbie birthday cakes. And these are not half bad, but let's be real. No one goes to the store just to buy these. Exactly. When you think of Little Debbie, this snack is nowhere near anyone's minds. It tastes like an actual birthday cake, but it's such an overdone flavor. But it is a classic flavor that's always good no matter what. It reminds me of the cakes that Laura used to bake me for my birthdays. But then again, I did get tired of the same cake every year. I'm not much of a cake guy personally, so I never buy these. But if I do eat anything cake, it's gonna be a delicious slice of New York cheesecake. Or a scrumptious piece of Melania's cake. <laughs> you better watch your mouth, Creepy Joe. At least my wife actually has cake unlike yours. Now Laura's got the best cakes unlike these Debbie cakes, which are mid. The strawberry shortcake rolls have an interesting taste. It's surprisingly really good, and they nailed the strawberry flavor. Yeah, strawberry flavors can be hit or miss, but these taste incredible. The sweetness is perfect with these. Damn right, Joe. These shortcake rolls are the best thing Little Debbie's ever made. The best thing? No way. You're forgetting that those oatmeal cream pies exist. I don't know about the shortcake rolls, fellas. It tastes a little too artificial for me. Looks like you're losing your taste buds too, George. These are God tier. Unlike the next ones we have, which are the zebra cakes. These are just like those birthday cakes, but in zebra form. Who doesn't like zebras? They're extravagant creatures. And I own one myself in the backyard of my mansion. There's no way you wasted money on a damn zebra. What the hell is a zebra supposed to do anyways? Well, let me tell you something, partner. Zebras may not be the easiest animals to take care of, but they sure are a sight to see. I used to take care of some of my buddies' farm down in South Africa. Since when did you go to South Africa? How do you even have time for this? Well, this was back in August of 2005. Those big guys were pretty wild, but they had a certain charm to them. You really got to watch out for them since they can get pretty feisty. Like one time, I went to feed them, and one of them kicked me right in the shin. It hurt like a son of a gun, but I couldn't help but laugh. Did you just say August 2005? 
That's pretty coincidental considering that's the same month that Hurricane Katrina happened. Oh, come on, George. You were seriously in South Africa when people needed you the most? I mean, yeah, Barack, what can I say? I love zebras and zebra cakes. I'm slipping these quietly in the goaded tier. Next, we have a classic, the good old oatmeal cream pies. Just thinking about it is making my mouth water. As soon as you take a bite, that nice, soft, chewy texture of the oatmeal cookie hits your tongue beautifully, followed by the sweet, creamy center filling. Man, it hits just right. The sweetness of the filling is perfectly counterbalanced by the slightest bit of saltiness of the cookie, creating the perfect combination of sweet and savory. Sounds like you all are describing Melania's Huh? I'm just trying to enjoy talking about food and Joe's ruining it. I banned him from the server. Wait, what? Yo, why did you do that? Unban him right now, Donnie. You're a hypocrite, Barack. If that was Michelle's name he brought up, you would have banned him too and sent a damn drone strike over to him. No, I wouldn't have. I would only do that to you, not Joe. Damn, look at Barack being a sleepy Joe meat rider. And look at you being a dumbass for banning our friend from our server. I'm unbanning and inviting him back. Whose phone is that? Not mine. It's Joey calling me. I'm going to answer, so all of you shut up. Barack, what happened to the server? Why is it gone for me? Sorry, bro. Donald banned you from our server, but we'll get you back. I got you. What? Why? Man, why's Donald got to be such a bitch? You know what? I don't want to join back right now. I'm going to text a friend of mine to join and put Trump in his place. Text a friend to join? No, Joe. Just come back. We need to finish this tier list with you. No. Donald ruined it for me, and I think he has. You've got to be kidding me. No way he fell asleep mid-sentence. That's classic Joe for you. Jesus. How can a human fall asleep that easily and that damn much? You completely ruined the vibe, Donald, especially since we were talking about this God-tier little Debbie snack. I wonder who he told to join the VC with us, though. He said they'll put Donald in his place, and I would love to see that. No one can put me in any place, aside the place of the President of the United... Well, well, huh? well, if it isn't the orange-faced wanker himself... What? Donald Trump, I see that you've banned my dear friend Joe. Yep, you sure did. Banning the President from this Discord is the most shameful thing you could do. For real? I've seen goddamn mouldy bread with more clust than you. Oh shit, let him cook. You're about as useful as a chocolate teapot. What? And your hair looks like a bird's nest after a hurricane. Damn. The chef is cooking. I wouldn't even trust you to cook a fucking pot noodle, let alone run a country. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. You're the biggest wanker I've ever had the displeasure of meeting. You and serious? that's saying something considering the amount of tosses I've dealt with in the kitchen. Oh, so you really join my VC to disrespect me like that? Yeah, mate. Well, I'll be the first to tell you that you're not a chef. What? You're just a glorified cafeteria cook that creates failure right. after failure, yeah. living their sad, sad life. Right. You're nothing but a washed up, overrated loudmouth yeah, who's made yeah, a career sure, out mate. of being a pretentious prick. I've seen more talent in a can of dog food than I've ever seen in you. Right. Well, listen here, mate. Why don't you take these stupid Debbie snacks and shove them up your All ass? right, chill, chill. This is getting out of hand, fellas. You two have had your own piece of each other, so why don't we leave it as is and move on? Donald's a real Muppet if I've ever seen one. You're lucky we're not face to face, you plonker. Let me tell you something, pal. Your insults are as overcooked as your beef Wellington. What? I've seen better comebacks from a microwave dinner. All right, guys, even though I'd love to see the both of you fight, we still have a tier list to finish. Marshmallow pies are our next little Debbie snack to rank. Why don't you help us out with this list, Gordon? What? Why are you twats discussing this abysmal excuse for food? Hey, man, don't take these snacks so seriously. Just enjoy some junk food for a few minutes and go on with your fancy-ass food later. Exactly, Gordon. You wouldn't know good food when you see it, especially McDonald's. But these marshmallow pies are trash, let's be real. They are kind of disappointing compared to the oatmeal pies. It always leaves a mess whenever I take just one bite. This shouldn't even be considered a pie. It's an insult to pastry chefs around the globe. It's awful. Next, we have another classic, the Star Crunch. Man, I absolutely love these. No, I hate these. Every time I eat these, they always get stuck to my teeth. You do have a point, Barack. Aside from that, these do taste wonderful, though. Are you fucking mental? It literally looks like they took a rice cake and dipped it in chocolate, then called it a day. Those geezers put zero effort into the taste and texture in there. Yo, Gordon, chill out, man. Just like George said, these aren't meant to be taken so seriously. Little Debbie snacks obviously aren't gourmet food, so quit it. I'm putting this into the good tier since Gordon has no idea what he's talking about. The chocolate cupcakes are pretty much indistinguishable from Ding Dongs and those Hostess cupcakes, but they all taste amazing regardless. But speaking of Hostess, let us know in the comments if you guys want a Hostess snacks tier list. And if we've already uploaded it, it'll be in the description. I actually don't quite mind these cupcakes. They have a splendid, simple taste that isn't all over the place. Finally, you're talking with some sense. I don't know anyone that hates these cupcakes, but they're certainly not as good as the oatmeal cream pies. What? These cupcakes are way better than those pies. 
Are you high or something, Barry? These actually deserve a tier above them. Nah, as much as I love these cupcakes, they're not better than the oatmeal pies. Sorry, Donnie, these cupcakes deserve goaded tier. Bloody hell, what's this next abomination? Spin wheels? What kind of pitiful name is this for a pastry, eh? I've tasted better food in a hospital cafeteria. They're like the ugly stepchild of a cinnamon roll. Avoid this rubbish at all costs. Damn, I really was gonna disconnect you for taking these snacks so seriously at first, but you're actually spot on about these for once. These are absolutely rubbish, like you said, Gordon. As much as I hate to agree with the both of you, these are by far the worst Little Debbie snack there is. The only redeeming factor in these is the fact that they have a hint of pecan with the taste. Other than that, these taste way too dry, and I honestly always forget that these exist. I'm surprised you knobheads actually agree with me for once. These are going to the awful tier, and as a matter of fact, I bet I can make better pecan cinnamon rolls than whatever this nonsense is. Ooh, ooh, yes, please, chef. I would love to try your dishes. I've always wanted to try your food. The kids on MasterChef can make better food than him. Gordon Ramsay's food is fake news! You what, mate? Are you taking the piss? Yes, I am. Damn. Wow, you're a proper fucking nutter. Listen here, your taste buds are like those of a kindergartner. You literally eat McDonald's, blimey. Maybe I'll have to fetch you a happy meal complete with a toy to appease you, dickhead. Gordon, I'm a very smart man for not spending money on a bunch of overpriced food. Why do that when you can get a Big Mac for just a few bucks? Did you just say you're smart, Donald? Ha, are you guys hearing this load of bullocks? You're just about as smart as a bag of rocks. What's with all these British words? Just speak normal English, you obnoxious snob. Donald, please don't start another argument with Gordon. Let me try calling Joey so he can join back and take Gordon's spot. Come on, Joe. Hey, Joe, are you there, man? We really need you to replace. Bro, what? Is that old geezer snoring? Bruh, how the hell did he answer the phone while asleep? Ha! I'm definitely gonna win the election at this rate. Well, it looks like he's out for the night, boys. Right then, what's our next snack to rank? Swiss rolls, is it? Are these even Swiss? They're not Swiss, dumbass. Again, stop taking these snacks so seriously. Oh, here we go again with your don't take it seriously nonsense. I've seen better judgment in a fucking microwave. You wouldn't know a decent snack if it smacked you in the face. Just stick to your teleprompters, mate. Oh, please, spare me your temper tantrum, Ramsey. I'm not gonna waste my time arguing with someone who thinks they're the almighty food critic. Stick to shouting in the kitchen and leave the snack judgments to the professionals. Exactly, and I must say these Swiss rolls are brilliant. They never get old. That cream filling and chocolate combination is like heaven. These are classics and just as good as those oatmeal pies. Laura doesn't like it when I eat too many of these though, so I have to hide them away like usual. These are the best. I love the way the chocolate tastes on these. Man, I wish I had a box of these right about now. I actually have a box of these right next to me. I'm about to bust that sucker open and down the whole box. Man, I'm gonna need Melania to pick up five more boxes of these from the store. Sheesh, if you keep eating at that rate, then Joey's definitely taking that election. Yeah, Jesus, Donald. Are you really about to down a whole box? Not surprised, I mean, just take a glance at him. Jeez, we keep getting off track. We're almost done and we haven't even ranked the Swiss rolls yet. I'm just gonna put them in God tier. But finally, we have the cosmic brownies. Little Debbie, have you lost your bloody mind? These cosmic brownies are a cosmic disaster. They taste like they've been sitting on the shelf for a decade and made by a three-year-old with a sugar addiction. I think you lost your mind by thinking these are terrible. If you attempted to bake brownies, they'd taste like cardboard and be as dry as your wife. Okay, okay, stop Donald. I've had enough of you acting like a damn child all day talking about all of our wives. Now get the fuck out of here, both of you. What? Hey, it feels so lonely in here now. Come on, Barry, stop being a party pooper. No, I've had enough of that. I'm putting cosmic brownies at God tier and that's it, I'm out, see ya, George. Wait, what? I'd say one of the best things about being in the White House is all the vending machines that are practically around every corner and room you go in. Right now, I have an ice cream and sunglasses vending machine in the Oval Office. Now, why the hell would you need a sunglasses vending machine? How foolish can you be, Joey? Back during my term, I had a blunt vending machine that was all the rage in the West Wing. My staff and I used to indulge in a little recreational activity while discussing foreign policy. It really helped us relax and come up with some creative solutions. But I'm not gonna lie, Joey, it makes zero sense having a sunglasses vending machine, and I know damn well you can't think of a good excuse on why you have one of those. I need all the glasses I can ever have just so I can protect my fragile eyes from going blind. 
in case I ever see Trump in public. All those glasses in that vending machine are probably all from Goodwill and costed two dollars a piece, you broke boy. No, I have class and swag, Donald. I'm not a cheap crab like you. And for your information, they're actually Ray-Ban glasses. Aviator RX 6489-2500, in fact, and plenty more where that came from. Hey, Joey, let me ask you a question about those glasses. Oh, what's your question, Barry? I know everything there is about... Did I ask? Wait, what? Did I ask? And I still don't understand, Barack. What do Did you... I ask about your tacky-looking swap meat dollar general looking ass glasses. Good one, Obama. Man, I need new friends. I don't know why I always get bullied. When I was 12 in 1954, I had the coolest lunchbox with a picture of a unicorn on it. The bullies thought it was girly and made fun of me. Little did they know, I had a pet unicorn named Luna, and she's tougher than any of them. 69 years later, I'm finally grown up, and I still have Luna, and she's magic. Are you serious, Joey? Really? A damn unicorn? What the f***? I can't wait to see what other mythical creatures you'll bring to the White House next. Maybe a damn dragon to help with foreign policy or a flirty mermaid to handle environmental regulations? This ain't Harry fucking Potter. Sleepy Joe is unbelievably preposterous. I would have bullied you two back in school with my greaser gang. We had our hair slicked back with switchblades, taking all the lunch money we can get. Why do you think I'm a billionaire? I would have grabbed that girly lunchbox of yours and put cow manure Hell in it. Hell no, your gang sounds like a bunch of little bitches. My squad would have for sure jumped all of your greasy asses faster than you can bankrupt a casino. We were all on the basketball team getting faded hot boxing the choom wagon. I would have thrown my orange basketball right at your orange face, Donnie. Please, please. Can we stop with all of this bully talk? It's giving me PTSD. Oh, it's okay, Sleepy Joe. Your, your dementia will kick in soon, and you'll forget what we're talking about Whatever, anyways. you big fat bully. I'm texting someone to join that will actually give a damn about me and be nice. Oh, gosh. Who the hell did you invite yeah, this time? I'm not going to lie, Joe. Every time you invite someone, you kill the vibe more than Jar Jar Binks in The Phantom Menace. So please don't let it be some random. Don't worry, boys. He's more famous than all of us combined, and y'all are going to rock with I him. I don't believe that for a damn second. I swear, Joey, if it's... Hey, ho, Kermit the Frog here. I heard you were a big fan, Joey. How are you doing tonight? I'm terrible, Kermit. These bullies keep bullying me. No way you invited a frog to our Discord server? The hell? Joey, we're taking your perms away. You're no longer allowed to invite people, or even animals. Whatever the hell Kermit's supposed to be. I'm actually an amphibian for your information, and what did I do? I'm just here to chill. Just ignore them, Kermit. They are just mad because I'm the one in office and not them. The only reason you're in office right now is because they want you to feel special. And you're going to expire soon. I'll be taking back over in 2024. So don't you even worry about it, you old fart. Damn, Trump, you didn't have to do him like that. Let the old man live his final hours in peace. Joey, why do you hang out with these guys? They're so mean to you. See, I told you, Kermit, but they're the boys, and I guess that's what we do. What are you crying about, Kermit? You're so old that you can't even cross the road anymore, just like the rest of your frog family. You do have a point, Trump, but Kermit is looking really, really good for his age. Better than you, in fact. Oh, well, thank you, Obama. I kind of like you now. You're a cool guy. But you, on the other hand, you orange toupee wearing fuck. Take your Hair Force One looking ass on somewhere before I beat the fuck out of hey, you. Hey, hey, stop the bullying. It's triggering me again. Whatever, let's just cut the shit and start this damn tier list, which this is part two of our chips tier list. Part one will be in the description. And make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on these dumbass presidents roasting each now, other. Now, who the hell do you think you are to try and take over our channel? You just joined the server today. Do I look like I care? I'm Kermit the Frog you're talking to. All right, boys, first off, we got kettle cooked salt and vinegar lays. And I'm not going to lie, I think these things need to be put into God tier without a doubt. Agreed. Agreed. Them hoses bussin'. Your guys' taste buds must not work because those chips should never have been made. Zip it, Donnie, my taste buds work amazingly. Just ask Melania about when I was with her just last night, because goddamn, she tastes good. Oh, Melania, I hit that too. Shit tastes like Skittles and Lucky Charms at the end of the rainbow. Damn, Kermit, you better chill out, man. I heard you and Miss Piggy were on the last straw already as it was. What the hell? No wonder she was complaining about back pain. If Kermit got in there, you know damn well she wouldn't have felt that. But you, Biden, you know for a fact you didn't hit that cause. If you did, you would have been complaining about your hip popping out of socket first thrust. So keep my wife's name out of your goddamn mouth. Who are you now? Will Smith. And what? Kermit's Chris Rock? I can't take this disrespect in this VC anymore. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I lost my skills in bed. Well, look at what you did, Donnie. You made him cry and leave. What the heck, Toupee? Why did you have to hurt his feelings? Hey, he attacked me first, okay? Let's just get back to the tier list. In the meantime, his old ass will forgot it happened in five minutes anyways. The dementia should kick in any time now. Kettle-cooked salt and vinegar lays are going in God tier without a doubt. 
I'm sorry, Trump, but they have to be there. All right, next we have queso ruffles. I think these chips are amazing without a doubt. The cheese flavor is perfect on these ruffles. Those things are even worse than the last chip. I would have thought you liked these chips since you're basically the same color of them. This is a god tier bag of chips that I risk my life hopping across the road to get. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, Kermit. You're, you're making me contemplate exactly what your name is by saying these chips are god tier. Well, too bad I'm putting them at god tier. I don't care what y'all say, I'm more famous than both of y'all combined, so my opinion is more relevant. And this is why we don't let sleepy fuck invite people to our Discord when we're making tier lists. Every single time, they've ruined everything. I'm surprised he hasn't joined back yet, though. Whatever. Next we have- Wait. Are you guys making a tier list without me? Why didn't any of you tell me you were in VC making a... Oh my God, is that really Kermit the Frog? Kermy, 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 Kermy. What are you doing here? I'm a big fan. Shut up, Joey. You're the one that invited him to do this with us. I can't stand your damn dementia. How do you have less brain cells than John F. Kennedy? What are you talking about, Barry? I just got here, so don't come at me with your nonsense. But I remember when I was just a wee little kid, I would watch the Muppets every day, and Kermy was always my favorite. Can you all just shut up and get on with the next bag of chips? I want to get the hell out of here. Quit being such a party pooper, Trump. Joey is obviously obsessed with me, so let him have his moment. Shut up, you toad. He had his moment when he had the government rig our election back in 2020. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Joey. That's a bitch move just to win because you knew Trump was better than you. Barack and Donald, you need to chill out before I get Kim Jong-un on y'all. Leave my friend alone and stop hurting his feelings. Thank you for sticking up for me, Kermy. Now let's get back to the tier list. Next up, we have Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh, Cool Ranch Doritos. They are my favorite and the best Dorito flavor without a doubt. I'm actually allergic to ranch, so I can't enjoy these chips. One bite and I gotta change my underwear. Wait, what? I never saw you wearing any underwear on any of your Muppet episodes or movies, and I've watched every single one over 20 times each. Well, you see, Joe, when you're as old as me and you, we both know that we have to wear diapers. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I knew Kermit was old as dirt, but never expected to hear about him wearing diapers. I knew Biden did, but Kermit, you just threw me off by saying that. All right, we get it. Biden and Kermit shit their pants together, but Cool Ranch Doritos are going to God tier. Next up, we have Pickle Pringles, and these are absolutely atrocious. I've never tried them, but they definitely sound horrible. Why would anyone want to combine pickles and chips? This one time I ate them at the inauguration after party and I threw up in Michelle's purse because I didn't want to throw up on my secret service man. So you were the one who ruined her $10 purse I got from Goodwill? I ought to beat your ass. Oh, I'm sorry, Brock. It was an accident. I can Venmo you the $10 for the purse if you want. I don't use Venmo. Do you got Cash App, PayPal, Zelle, or uh, actually, never mind. We'll talk about this later. You better give me that $10 back, though. Back to the tier list, boys. Pickle Pringles are awful tier, but next we have Miss Vicky's Jalapeno Chips. Let me tell you, when I smoke one too many with Snoop, these are the first chips that I steal from 7-Eleven when the cashier has his back turned. First you're a washed up celebrity and now you're a thief? All your fans should be disappointed in you, Kermit the Thief. Hey man, all that Muppets money ran out so I gotta get food somehow. Kermit, I know you have some good left in you. If you need a job, you can be one of my secret servicemen, or rather, secret service frog. Hey, 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 no, he's going to be my secret service frog, not yours. I'll just be your secret service frog for both of you guys, okay? So let's just not fight here. Good luck having that old croak work for you. But on to more important things like these jalapeno chips, they're underrated and deserve to be in God tier. Uh, I wouldn't say they're God tier, but I wouldn't be mad about putting them in the good tier. Yeah, I agree. Good tier suits this bag of chips more. Next up, we got the barbecue lay. So what do you boys think about this one? I'm not going to lie. These chips are the definition of mid, and I have no idea why people like these. I knew I liked being your friend for a reason, Joey, and this is one of them. Barbecue lays are mid. I'd rather use these chips as lily pads than eat them. I'm kind of upset about that, because I feel as if you can't go wrong with a bag of barbecue lays. They're, they're just the OGs at the cookouts on the lake. I would say good tier at least. They're nice to have at those cookouts, I agree, but aside from that, I never buy them at the store. They're going to the mid-tier. Finally, something this orange guy has said I agree with, but anyways, next up we have flaming Hot Funyuns, and I will not lie, I'm not even gonna wait for y'all to respond. These are going to God whoa, tier. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, Kermit. This isn't your tier list and isn't your damn video. Chill out before I kick your green ass out of this server. I thought I would like you more, Kermit, but not gonna lie, you're just a menace now. I miss the old Kermit. Hey, hey, leave him alone. We all know people and of course animals change, so give him a break. No, as a matter of fact, I'm telling Miss Piggy about all of this. No, the hell you aren't. If you do, I'm about to tell Melania what this frog tongue can do. 
what did you just say, Kirby? I, I, and I where have you been? I've been waiting for you to pick me up. It's already 7.30 and we're late for our date. Uh, Get oh, off no, of your no. PC right now and come pick me up or I will beat the no, out No, no, don't you. hit me, please. Since you're here, Miss Piggy, I got something to tell you. Here we Has go Kermit again. told you what Sleepy Joe and him did with my wife last night? Your wife? I just what? found out that Melania has been having back problems and it's because of Kermit over here. Damn, Trump, you're turning into 6 9 with all this snitching. What is wrong with you? Donald, I swear you're a rat. You look like a rat. Miss Piggy, he is lying. It was only me that did all of that to Melania. No, not no, I don't care. This isn't the first time I caught Kermit cheating. Shut He's up, He's hopping on very thin ice right now. Good. Kermit needs to learn a lesson and get what he deserves. Don't listen to Joey over here. He has dementia. Oh, Trump, you done f***ed up now. I'm gonna really beat your ass if I ever see you in public. Oh, really? Now, Kermit, you're threatening him when you're the one that cheated on me just so you could shag some skank? I, we've been together for 50 damn years, and yeah, this 50 abusive is what years. you do to me? As a matter of fact, that I'm gonna go mess with Animal, since he's more of an animal Wait, in bed what, than you no, no. are. You fat pig, put some respect Don't on my wife's call me name. Fat? She isn't a skank, she just likes to experiment. Ew, that's I don't gross. know why she would choose Joey and that dumbass green frog. Hey, you're not dumb. But at the end of the day, she isn't a skank and your husband cheated on you. Now, take your little bitch of a frog and get your asses out of my Discord. Hey, hey, why did you disconnect them both? Look, Donnie, I didn't want to partake in the shagging, all right? I was supposed to just be the camera, man, but Kermit threw some Perk 30s in my cup without me realizing, and I got sleepy and I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry, man. Please don't hate me. Damn, man. Kermit really is messed up in the head. I should text Dr. Phil to get Kermit on his show and get him the help he needs. It's all right, Joey. I'm not mad. However, now that that little pond dweller is gone, let's get back to this tier list and get it done before he can join back. Where are we even at with this list? Did we even rank the, the Hot Funyuns? Because if not, they're a god tier bag of chips. But next up, we have Chester's Hot Fries, and I won't lie. These are one of the best snacks for whenever you're faded. When I was at the stew with Kanye last night, we had like $300 worth of these, and let me say, we ate them all. Goddamn, y'all are some fat asses. How did y'all manage to eat $300 worth of Hot Fries? That's more than Matt Stoney could eat, and that guy eats like a madman. You damn potheads and your poor money decisions blowing through it all on this useless food. You can't talk fat ass. You ordered 300 cheeseburgers to the White House, so watch your mouth before I slap some sense into you, little bro. Now, now, boys, cool it down. Hot fries are gonna god tier, so let's go to the next bag of chips. Barbecue ruffles are actually pretty damn good, but are they better than the barbecue Lay's? They are way better than those Lay's 100%. Don't let Biden try and say anything about these, because I always already know he hates these chips with his ancient ass taste Why are y'all being so mean to me? Why can't we just rate the chips, man? I miss Kermy. I want him back. That fat pig needs to hop off his tool so I can hop back on it. I always knew you were a meat rider since you rode Obama's in office for eight years, you loser. Now barbecue ruffles are going to the good tier. Shut your mouth, Donald. You slob all over Mike Pence's. God damn you, Trump. You just ruined my marriage of 50 years and now we're getting a divorce. Now I'll have to go get a job again since I won't have the money from Miss Piggy's OnlyFans anymore. Is that really you, Kermy? I missed you. They were bullying me while you were gone. Oh, shut up, you fossil. No one was bullying you. We were just speaking facts and you got all up in your feels. I have a date with Janice tonight, so please, uh, let's hurry it up and finish this tier list so I can beat the Doonies down. All right, whatever you tadpole. Hot Cheeto Puffs are next, and let me just say that after eating these chips, I've never ran more to the bathroom before in my life. Oh, these things. Hot boy, let me tell you what. When Kermie slips me them 30s, these are my go-to snack. I could eat $1,000 worth of them if it really came down to what it. What the hell, Joey? Why are you suddenly getting into these opioids now? This is why you never meet your idols, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna wanna do everything they do. Hey, you don't know nothing, Barack. Leave us alone and let us get wasted in peace. Uh, but these hot Cheeto puffs are amazing, but my little frog tongue can't handle the heat. Uh, there is way too much spice and salt on these, and we all know salt and amphibians don't mix well together. Despite the heat of these chips, they definitely deserve God tier. Speaking more about heat, the Hawaiian mango habanero chips is a perfect balance of spicy and sweet. Oh, and plus, they're Hawaiian just like me. These chips aren't even Hawaiian. They're fake news, and their company got sued for false advertising. Who snitched on them? I'm about to beat their ass since I love those chips. Wow, my whole life is a lie now. Aside from these chips actually not being Hawaiian, I think they're, they're really good. So 
good tier it is. Next up, we have pizza Pringles, and I won't lie, these are awful. Are you high or something? These are some of the best chips I've ever had. I am, though. Pizza Pringles are mid as hell. They don't even taste like pizza. I agree with Kermy Wormy. I'm putting them at the mid tier. Wait, did you say Kermy Wormy? You are such a child, Joey. Yeah, he sure as hell has the mind of a 12 year old, but finally we have sour cream and onion Pringles, and I honestly think it's mid too. I never really liked Pringles, anyways. The only thing I like about them is how they're in a can. That can is very useful for smuggling and contraband. Kermit taught me that one. Of course he did. What a bunch of no good fugitives. This is going to mid tier and that's the entire tier list. So get the hell out of here, Kermit. Cool it, you fat mango. Hey, Joey, are we hanging out tonight? I got a new bong if you want to try it out with me. I've been so lonely recently, I have no smoking buddies. Yeah, of course, Kermy. I have to experiment more and have fun before my time's up. The FBI are on their way. Oh no, I'm out. I'm gonna take a nap before I head to Kermit's swamp. I'm gonna go buy Michelle a new purse from Goodwill. Why am I always the last one in VC? I heard you want to build a wall around the bikini bottom. Listen here, buddy. Stay the f*** away from my home. What is wrong with your voice? I think you're going to make me go deaf. I bet if you saw Gary, you'd try to grab him by the shell. Hey ho, Kermit the Frog here. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, then subscribe for more. A lot of things happened since The Muppet Show and movies, but I still love you guys. Michelle took me to the store last night to restock the snack pantry, and she recommended Pop-Tarts. I didn't really know which Pop-Tarts to get, so I just bought five different variety packs of four. Holy hell, Barack, if you eat all of those, you're going to end up looking like Trump's big ass. Haha, <laughs> you're not lying about that one, Joey. No one wants to look as big as Trump. Shut up, Towers, you have no room to talk. You just got ungrounded by your wife because she found your vapes. And don't even get me started on you, sleepyhead. You're going to be asleep in three minutes. It's almost your nap time. Damn, you see, me personally, I wouldn't let someone talk to me like that. That's just me, though. I mean, what can I do? He's just speaking the truth. Well, I am getting pretty tired after Kermit and I hung out. Kermit got me addicted to those 30s, and man, I've been sleeping like a baby. Joe, when did you start being a drug addict like Obama? What? There truly must be something wrong with your brain. Hey, I'm not a drug addict. I just like to get faded with the homies and eat hella snacks at the stew. That doesn't matter, though. Can you all help me rank these Pop-Tarts I got from the store? I need to know which ones to get next time I stock up. Yeah, first off, we have strawberry Pop-Tarts. And I must say, these are, without a doubt, the best Pop-Tart to ever be made. I don't care what anyone says. You know, before I say anything about the strawberry Pop-Tart, I just want to say it feels so good to be back. I missed you boys and making these tier lists with y'all. I certainly didn't miss you. I forgot you even existed. And next time, how about don't vape or roll up your doobies and you would be here, yeah? Nah, Donnie, just let George live, man. Him and Joey need to have some fun before they go. What are you talking about, Barack? I've always done 30 since I was a jit. I've been doing them way back then when I met Kermit back in World War I. Yeah, Barry. Joey and I have been doing this stuff since we were youngins in the 1900s. What are you on about? Shut up, you damn addicts. Strawberry Pop-Tarts are without a doubt God tier. Next up, we have brown sugar and cinnamon. Oh, baby. These were my favorite ones that Michelle and I got from the store last night. I won't lie, these are perfect for when I'm at the stew with Drake or Ye. I could eat like five of these at once. Oh, did you say cinnamon? Uh, these taste too spicy for what? me. And the brown sugar is just way too sweet for me. I say these should go in the mid-tier at best, but that's just me. There's something seriously wrong with you, Joey. Donnie was right when he said your taste buds don't work because these are one of the best snacks to possibly get in the world. They remind me of those morning breakfasts in Texas when my mom used to bake us fresh, warm cinnamon rolls. Nah, George, you never tried Michelle's cinnamon rolls. Them hoes were straight bussin'. I never lie when it comes to things about Sleepy Joe over here. Cap. He can't taste things correctly because his dementia makes him forget and changes his opinion every five minutes. Yeah, so he's not gonna rank these ones. Oh, Brown man. sugar and cinnamon Pop-Tarts are God tier 100%. I think the next ones are chocolate fudge. These are really good. As a matter of fact, anything chocolate is good enough for me. This might sound dumb for me to say, but I partially agree with Joey on this one. These aren't too bad. I would put them at the good tier if you all agree. I've only had these once, and that's only because they aren't worth buying. These don't even taste like fudge. It's a disappointment like Joey's presidency. Hey! The orange has finally said something I can fully get behind. I'm putting these in the mid-tier. All right, next up we have blueberry Pop-Tarts. And man, let me tell you what. Waking up in the morning and having a nice coffee and blueberry Pop-Tarts before getting up and working in the field all day is probably the best breakfast you could ever have. Yeah, these are amazing with a nice little cup of coffee. I can agree with that. You both are a bunch of losers having coffee and blueberry Pop-Tarts when you could just have McDonald's McGriddles and get it all over with. Trump, shut up, man. 
You're just a fat ass that can't ever stop thinking about anything McDonald's. So please shut it, you fat pig. Damn, guys, calm it down, will you? We have a lot of Pop-Tarts left to rank, so I'm gonna throw these at the goaded tier without a doubt. If I can be honest with you guys, Frosted Hot Fudge Sunday Pop-Tarts are just like the chocolate fudge ones for me. They're nothing special, boys. These are exactly the same as the chocolate fudge, just under a different name. I should sue their company for misleading me and wasting my money. Any money you spend isn't a waste, Trump. It's not like you've wasted money plenty of times before with your bankrupted and failed businesses. Shut the fuck up, Barry. It's not like you've wasted money on Obamacare and excessive spending on making the White House a trap house. Listen here, Donnie. If I was gonna be in that joint for eight long years, I had to turn it into a proper trap house so I could bring the gang over and vibe. I mean, I was trapping every day out that hole with the gang. Yeah, I feel you, Barry. I needed to feel like I was back at home during my term, too. So I basically turned the White House into a Texas roadhouse with bull riding, expensive fancy grills for our barbecues, and a whole ass Whataburger in the east wing of the White House. Wow, what a waste of money. You both have zero brain cells and no sense of what's important for the country like me. All of you knuckleheads, stop fooling around so we can rank these Pop-Tarts. These hot fudge Sunday ones are going to mid, but next we have s'mores. Oh baby, these ones remind me of when I used to go camping back in Texas. These Pop-Tarts are like being in the woods around a fire, toasting some gooey marshmallows. I love it. Bush, can you shut up with the Texas talk, please? No one cares about your childhood and the snacks your mom made. If I'm being honest, these s'mores Pop-Tarts are god-awful and dog water. Donald, you're fucking tweaking, nigga. I would say these are god-tier. The taste never gets old. They're iconic. Uh, wait, guys, what Pop-Tart are we talking about again? Uh, I forgot. Joe, shut up! Your dementia is kicking your ass right now. I'm surprised you haven't fallen asleep. You serious? No way Joe fell asleep in VC again. Man, when will he stop? A nap sounds pretty nice right now, not gonna lie, fellas. Of course, his old ass fell asleep. Let's finish this before Joe wakes up and ruins this tier list. Next up, we have chocolate chip cookie dough Pop-Tarts. Man, these Pop-Tarts are OG. I used to smack one of these in the toaster every morning at the Oval Office before they made me get to work. And let me just say, these things are bussin' bussin'. Let me guess, Obama, your drug dealing ass was getting faded than a hoe and eating these goddamn Pop-Tarts before doing work for the country, huh? But not gonna lie though, you're right, these are the OG of Pop-Tarts and make me almost as happy as when I have 100 cheeseburgers from McDonald's right in front of me. Jesus, Trump, you're just like my cat, you fat piece of lard. Think about Pop-Tarts, not McDonald's, Orange Julius. Yeah, back to it, boys. Chocolate chip cookie Pop-Tarts are god tier. No questions asked. Uh, 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 what? Uh, when did I get in Discord? Is he, uh, how long was I asleep? You were literally asleep for a minute, you old fart. How the hell do you completely forget that you were ever even in here? There's no way they elected this fool for president over me, a very handsome and brilliant billionaire. Trump, just because you're a billionaire doesn't mean you're handsome or brilliant. Anyways, the next Pop-Tart is cookies and cream. Oh man, Jill bought me a box of these last night and I already ate all of them while I watched My Little Pony with my pony lunchbox. Damn Biden, you gotta be fruity. No way you watch My Little Pony and still have that pony lunchbox from when you were a kid. Yeah, Jesus, Joey, grow up, why don't you? How are you gonna be 80 years and watch My Little Fucking Pony? Hey, weren't you reading My Pet Goat at 55 years old? All of you shut it. We're almost done with this stupid tier list and I'm getting hungry. Let's hurry it up so I can get some McDonald's before they close. McDonald's is open for 24 hours, fat ass. But cookies and cream Pop-Tarts are a hood classic. Who in their right mind hates these? Yeah, for real. Back in my hood, I was the top dog because I had boxes of these on deck. My boys on the block would tell their homies about my Oreo Pop-Tarts and I would sell them for $50 a pop because I told them that I would only sell them with a grandma pot in the box. I was raking in bands on bands from those fools. Drug dealing with Pop-Tarts? What the hell, Barack? Why did they even elect you as president? You're a delinquent. Hey, let the man hustle, all right? We all had our hustles back then, just like when I used to sell my famous chili dogs. I made my very own secret recipe for the chili and I would cook up a big old pot every Sunday morning. I'd set up my stand on the corner and the lines would be around the block in no time. I had my regulars like the- Shut up, George. Wow, George, you really made Joe fall asleep from your boring story. I'm just gonna disconnect him. Let's just let the man sleep for once. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted to tell my story like Barry. No one cares about your stories, George. And wait, we didn't even get to rank these Oreo Pop-Tarts. They're cookies and cream. They're going into God tier. Moving on, we have Wild Berry next, and these are mid as hell. There's way too many better flavors than these. I agree with you on this one, and also, who eats Pop-Tarts for the fruity taste anyways? We all know everybody gets these for the chocolate flavors. 
I would never buy these over any Pop-Tarts since they're a waste of money. You're bugging, Donald. These are insanely good, and it's a nice change of taste to get something other than chocolate 24-7. It's far from a waste of money. Unlike Obama's junkie ass, I don't blow my cash on a bunch of drugs. Hey, I'm not a junkie, bro. How many times do I have to tell you it's just a hobby of mine to get a little extra cash? Yeah, put some respect on Barry's name, as well as these damn Pop-Tarts, Donnie. I don't care what you say, these are goaded Pop-Tarts. Whatever, you fool. Finally, we have chocolate chip Pop-Tarts to rank, and these are the best Pop-Tarts to ever be made, and it's not even close. I'm sad that we're ending on these because these Pop-Tarts are some of the most boring Pop-Tarts to be made. What? They're just so sad to look at. You have got to be kidding me, Bush. You're getting to be just as bad as Biden with your opinions. These chocolate chip Pop-Tarts are easily the best in the whole world, just like me as president. Don't lie to yourself now, man. These things are boring and have no flavor. It's a complete waste of money. They're going dog water. And now that we finally finished the list, I'm gonna head back to my hood and sell some more Oreo Pop-Tarts with a surprise, if you know what I mean. I'm out of here too. I'm gonna ask Laura to make some cinnamon rolls for me. Look at all of them being disrespectful leaving me here. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry I fell asleep. What Pop-Tart are we ranking now? We already finished the goddamn list, you wrinkly prune. Oh, what? You guys did the rest without me? What the fuck? Have you guys seen Obama around? He's usually here, and he didn't text me that he'll be gone. He left me in the dark, too, but I'm sure he'll join VC soon. Michelle is probably forcing Barack to do the dishes, since he always complains that she never does them. That's kind of fucked up, man. But then again, the dishes won't do themselves. I don't know why his ass just doesn't hire a maid to do the dishes. Probably because he has respect unlike your egotistical ass. Whatever, I'm just going to be munching on these chips watching anime while we wait for Barack. You can hear it, dumbass. Turn that shit off or mute yourself. Ooh, wait, was that Hunter Hunter? Fuck up, Sleepy Joe. And yes, it was George Ivanka put me onto this show, and it's actually not half bad, especially since it's Japanese. Yeah, you should definitely watch it, Joe. His old ass will fall asleep watching the intro before the show even gets to start. I may be a sleeper, but at least I'm not a weeb like you both. But what chips were you munching on there, Donald? Oh, I'm killing an entire bag of Lay's right now, and let me tell you that these chips are phenomenal. Be more specific, Donnie. The barbecue, cheddar or sour cream and onion Ooh, Lay's? Ooh, sour cream and onion is bussin'. I'm eating the only correct flavor there is with Lay's. Classic. I'm actually surprised that your fat ass doesn't like every Lay's flavor there is. Salt and vinegar and sour cream and onion are definitely the best. Vinna what? Better watch it when Obama hops in here. What other chips do you boys like, though? I'm more of a spicy guy myself, so I f*** the Takis, and even my Secret Service men like them, too. My old ass would be blasting heat on the toilet if I ate shit like that. But I keep a huge 40-ounce barrel of cheese balls on my desk right Holy here. Holy shit, that's so many cheese balls. But I'm not surprised since I know you love stuff in your face with balls. Haha, <laughs> good one, Donnie. He was with Obama in the White House for eight years. So they definitely spent a lot of time together, if you know At what least I mean. I didn't serve my term for eight years with a guy named Dick Cheney. We all know you loved having Dick being there at every moment with you. <laughs> Yo, what's up, boys? How are we feeling tonight? What's good? It's your boy, Snoop Deal, motherfucking Double G. Hey, it's my boy, Snoop Dogg. What's up, man? How are you? Oh, uh, Snoop Dogg. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, hey, great. It's goddamn Snoop Dogg. What's up, y'all? I just got back from blazing it with Obama. He's faded in a hole right now. Uh, huh? uh, you weren't supposed to tell him, bro. Now, what if they want to hit? We don't got any more Sleepy Joe OG left. Uh, sleepy what? OG. It's my new strain. It's called Sleepy Joe OG. You won't even remember what country you're in when you get faded off this shiznit. Oh, great. This senseless pothead talk here is the last thing I need to ruin my anime in chips. Uh, so wait, did you say chips? Can you give me some? Ha <laughs> my nigga Obama has the munchies. No, you can't have any of my lays. They're only mine. Go have Michelle bring your lazy ass some. You know what, Snoop and Obama, before you got here, we were talking a lot about chips, and I was thinking... We should rank the best and worst chips out there, kind of like how we ranked soda yesterday. Sounds like a chill time, but Obama's going to be fiending for chips if we keep talking about food. All good. I texted Michelle to bring me chips and guacamole, but what chips do we have first to rank? Uh, the regular Cheetos, I see. Now, these are just as good as those cheese balls that I have. It's a definite god nah, tier for me. These are nothing compared to hot Cheetos. You're bugging if you think these are god tier. It's good at best. I agree. It's just too bland for me when you got better tasting chips with a kick out there. Oh, and one thing with these chips. I don't like them because they're orange like Trump. Shut the hell up. I have more money than you. Now, I may not have half your paper, but I got twice the dick. And you can believe that. <laughs> Ooh, he got you there. That damn nigga. Whatever. Stop slacking off and get back to the list. 
Cheddar Ruffles sounds good right now, but not because it's orange, you losers. You see, this one is way better than Cheetos 100%. You can never go wrong with some Ruffles. These chips go good with that ranch dip as well. I don't like these as much as Cheetos, but I can't agree with you, gentlemen. I'm going to put these at God tier since it deserves it, but Talkies, on the other hand, are way too fucking spicy. Oh, I'm surprised this one's too much for you. I like these ones, but... Not as much as hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos are way better than what the hell Takis are. I think are. if I consume this, I'll end up in the emergency room. Then I'm going to put it at mid for now. And where's that nigga Obama? I haven't heard from him in a minute. Oh, so I heard my name. Oh, well, what's happening? Oh, God. Did he really pull a Joe and fall asleep on us? Snoop wasn't lying when he said you won't even remember what country you're in. Sleepy Joe OG has me geeked. Ha ha. That's my nigga right there. Now that you're back, help us rank the Garden Salsa Sun Chips. These chips are so underrated. It's a great, great middle ground with the flavor, and I've never tasted anything like it. You know what? These chips aren't half bad. No one ever talks about them, but I'll make sure to tweet about it since Elon Musk lifted my ban on Twitter. I know this might be controversial and the comments might get pissed at us, but I think this should go to God tier. Whoa, whoa, the outrage in the comments will be worse than when my unveiling of the new Space Force logo was being mocked on Twitter for looking like a Star Trek ripoff. I mean, that's understandable, but they got to keep in mind we're just AI generated and our opinions are being typed out by somebody that's having a neutral view on this I all. I guess we'll put it at the good tier then. But let us know in the comment section your thoughts on this one in particular. Mm, those honey barbecue twists are an instant god tier, no question about it. These hoes would slap so hard right now, I might just Uber Eats them to my mansion. Hell yeah, these are busting, especially when you're faded. I'd eat three whole bags of these and it still won't get old. I'm from Texas, so anything barbecue is a W for me. I agree with you all, so I'm moving it to God tier. As for these sour cream and onion lays, it doesn't get any better than this. Especially the salt and vinegar lays. Vinna, what the f did you just no. say? Yeah, what no, in no, God's no, name no. just came out of your f***ing mouth? I'm about to whoop you upside your head with a coat hanger, biatch. You know what? F*** you guys. Wow, you guys made him leave. Poor Joe was just telling you guys his favorite flavor of Lay's. I'm glad that old fart is gone so I don't got to hear any snoring coming from him. I think we were too harsh on Joey, Snoop. His old ass will come back in the VC, don't y'all worry? I'm not talking to either Barack and Snoop, but I'm putting sour cream and onion Lay's at the good tier. What kind of chip name is Funyuns? Just the name alone doesn't make me want to buy it. Then you'll want to buy my Snazzle O's. These are inspired by Funyuns since these are my f***. Favorite. I even made a spicy onion flavor too, but Trump couldn't handle it because he'd be gone off of just two of these. This one ain't that bad, bro. It's supposed to taste how it is, but I mean, I can see why y'all would hate it. Exactly, Barack. They're not terrible, but then again, they're not on the levels of Doritos. So let's put it at the mid tier. These Fritos are only good with bean dip. If it don't got no dip, then it's a hard pass. The dips are what makes this chip good, especially the Frito scoops. Melania makes the absolute best 10-layer bean dip when Super Bowl Sunday comes around. Yeah, and you didn't invite me to last year's Super Bowl party, you fat fuck. Yeah, I'm not inviting Towers over here to ruin Super Bowl Sunday like everything else. I was there, and Melania's bean dip wasn't all that good, guys, so you're not missing out, but she did make some bomb-ass buffalo wings. My wife's a better cook than her, so I'm not surprised. But since dips make this chip, I'm putting it at mid-tier. At least my wife sleeps in the same bed with me, unlike you. But obviously, Classic Lays gets God tier, no question about it. My nigga, you are tweaking with that buffoonery-ass statement your clown ass just made. Speaking of clowns, I still haven't forgave you for that one time you dressed a clown up as me in one of your music videos. Ah, you remember that? I wasn't fucking with you for a while up until you pardoned my homie Mike back in 2021. So respect to you on that. Glad you guys can come to some sort of terms, but we got to create some terms for Classic Lays. This shit is mid. I mean, it's not bad, but there's nothing good with this chip. It's too plain. Easy mid-tier with that because compared to the other chips we have next, there's no competition. Exactly. When flavors like spicy sweet chili Doritos exist, this shit is an instant god tier. The sweet and spiciness of these Doritos are just absolutely perfect. You know how much I love spicy food, so I agree with Snoop D.O. Double G. Whenever I eat these, the Dorito dust gets all over my fingers and licking it all off is the best. Look at this fat ass over here. He can't have enough of what he's eating. I can never eat these chips the same anymore since all I'm going to think about is Donnie licking his sausage fingers. At least these fingers have been inside plenty whoa, of- Whoa, whoa, cool it, orange man. Don't say that type of disrespectful shit around here. I can say whatever the fuck I want around you, Nimrods, and you're still broke compared to me either way. I can purchase your entire music catalog and still be a billionaire. Damn, this nigga always bringing money into all of this. 
Listen here, yeah, having half your money would be crazy, but for that, you need a 20-year-old's and a divorce lawyer. Ha <laughs> no shot. Damn, nigga, you done fucked up. I'm not even going to respond to that since I can't understand and speak broke. All right, gentlemen, cool it. Hot Cheetos is next for us to rank, and these ones are easily one of the best chips out there. Hot Cheetos never get old for me. The taste is recognizable, and this shit is so addicting to eat, especially when you're zooted. Hell yeah, Barack. This is one of my go-to snacks for the munchies. I used to hit up 7-Elevens with my niggas when we all blazed up and get hot Cheetos, peanut M&Ms, pistachios, and gummy worms. My wife tells me to stay away from these chips because she thinks it'll put me to sleep forever, so I've never had these before. You're missing out then, Joey. Maybe I'll come over and just have you try one so you can see how good these taste, but don't tell Jill. Have him eat the whole bag instead so his ass will be on fire. Hot Cheetos belongs at God Tier Boys, but next we have an iconic gamer snack. Doritos. Ah, uh, hell yeah. Doritos and Call of Duty go together like ganja and a nice cold sweet tea. These are the nacho cheese ones, right? I think these chips are so overdone and spicy sweet chili is miles better. But you can never go wrong with the basic taste of this. It's a universal flavor that everyone likes. Cool Ranch Doritos are better in every way. As a matter of fact, I think we should do a Doritos tier list sometime to decide what flavor of Doritos is the best. Sounds like a good idea, Donnie, but I'm putting these chips at God tier. Ooh, we have the munchy snack mix. This is a unique bag of chips, but the only thing I don't fuck with about these ones are the pretzels. Oh yeah, uh, uh, doesn't this bag have Doritos, Hot Cheetos, Sun Chips, and pretzels? I don't think pretzels should be a part of this bag either. If it wasn't, then it would be an instant god tier. Y'all really don't like pretzels that much? They're a nice balance with this bag, to be honest. If I wanted to have pretzels, I would go to buy those chocolate-covered ones, but we're talking about chips and not whatever the hell you would call pretzels. Pretzels are pretty good, and I thought I was the one losing my taste buds, but... Seems like you boys don't know what you're talking about. You just haven't been high ever in your life, Sleepy Joe, so you wouldn't know. Oh, uh, actually, he's been high, all right, but not off of the devil's lettuce. Damn, for real? That's my nigga right there. Uh, anyways, gentlemen, these munchy snack mix are going to be at the good tier. I see we have barbecue Pringles as our last one to rank. The taste of these are brilliant. It brings me back home all over again. You know I would rank these high, but the fact of the Pringle can being so poorly designed is pushing this to awful for me. I thought you had small hands, Donald. I read all over TMZ that you were insecure about your tiny ass hands which is surprising coming from Jabba the Hutt's cousin. Just because you can't fit your hand in the Pringle can, it doesn't make this taste any better or worse. Exactly, Donnie. These chips are really good, but I like the cheddar Pringles more. Whatever, I'll just put this at good tier for you losers. Well, it was nice kicking it with y'all, but I have a studio session to hit right now, so you guys have a good one. Laura's been wanting me to mow the lawn, so I have to go as well, boys. I'm pretty tired from all this chip talk, so I'm gonna go nap. Well, Donnie, it's just you and me. Nope. Well then. Good evening, Mr. Obama. How are you? Since when the fuck did we invite Iron Man to this server? Wow, I just got here. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and like. For more, y'all are the best. Take it easy.